Y'all know I come prepared. Diddy's in the building, okay? There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. Divas and Divos. What's up, everybody? Dunkin' Donuts really need to like sponsor me a video. Like, I need a cool t shirt from them. Like, they got these really cool new t shirts that they work in. I need one of those. Y'all know I love graphic tees. Like, seriously, I buy Dunkin' Donuts every single day. It's the same thing. It's the same dang on thing. This get me going. You know, America's runs on Dunkin'. That's what they say. So, what's up, you guys? Today is going to be an easy wig video. You know, <laughs> Whew. This is probably like number seven for me or eight. When I'm talking about not the videos for the day, there's no way I'm sitting here and doing eight videos in one day unless I am really on a roll. And I don't know when that's been. No, this is probably like the seventh or eighth wig headband video that I done did, okay? But I be trying to find all the ones that is really inexpensive, you guys. Like, listen, you can find them everywhere. They are all over the net, okay? You can even make you one if you wanted to. But if you don't, girl, then you could check out VIP Wigs. I worked with them before, so now they got some headband wigs on an online store. So you might want to check them out, see how easy they are to wear. It's so simple. You just ooh, open these and you're good to go. But let's see how your wig comes, all right? And we're going to get into this video. When you receive your unit from VIP Wigs, it'll come in their standard packaging. You'll also receive a satin satchel bag, which you can use to help protect your unit and store it in. Along with that, you'll also receive the amenities such as a hair clip and a styling tool. To protect your hair from your unit, VIP Wigs will also provide a two-piece deluxe wig cap. For an additional cost on their website, you can purchase some of their amazing headbands. This one here is actually beautiful as it has faux diamonds and pearls. Along with that, they do have cloth headbands, which are wide in the back and all around. And these are really great for putting your hair up in an in-up, an updo, or a ponytail. And for an additional cost, you can also purchase these on their website as well. These look great with just about any headband wig. The unit that I received is a 20-inch Virgin Brazilian Water Wave headband wig. These start at $82 on their website and do come in many different densities such as 130, 150, and I do believe 180. The fabric of the headband is stretchy and is sewn and attached to the hair. You can easily fold this over to add many other headbands. I'll leave all of the information down below for VIP wigs as I'm pretty sure you'll want to check them out as they have many units to offer. Stalking his Instagram, saying he's in a phase. All right, you guys, so you already know the, the deal with the headband wigs. Trending, trending, trending. So this one right here is the Virgin Brazilian Water Wave. And I'm not really sure the density of this one because it does start at $130. And the price does start at $82, okay? You guys already know these headband wigs are sha-popping. They are trending. They are all over the internet. Maybe I got problems. I'm not like the hugest fan of these big headbands. It all depends on the hair that you rocking it with. I don't really think that this hair was big enough for it because listen, but the headband is really, really pretty. Like you can't help but to like these, but it was a no go for me. The hair has got to be bigger. I'm telling you, like I look like I got a pool noodle on my head. Now this one right here is just more my style. They do offer these as well on the website. Many different styles to choose from. This hair is really pretty. It's wavy, it's easy, no maintenance girl listed. Anybody could put this on, I'm telling you. This is a great wig for anyone. 
Now this look really, really cute. Now, first of all, honestly, I really didn't have too much high hopes with this one when I seen it after I washed it, because as you guys know, it's a loose wave. So you know me, I like the waves to be sha popping like all the way there. Didn't come out too bad, you know what I'm saying? For the price, it didn't come out too bad. I wasn't too thrilled about this headband. Y'all know how I feel about these. Now, this was the one time when I was like, no, no, no. Girl, I felt like somebody had sat a pot on top of my head. I really felt like I had a hula hoop over my head. Like, I didn't know what was going on. Was I being crowned the queen of YouTube? Or was I just wearing a headband? Like, this thing is humongous. And then to sit on top of the black one was not working out. So yeah, this hair was not for this one. I told you guys, the hair got to be really big for me to wear these things. Like I'm saying, you look like you're walking around with a planet wrapped around your head. Girl, who's got a pool noodle on their head? That's how I be feeling like, okay, here she come. April got that pool noodle on again. She about to save somebody's life with that headband. And if you got a small head and your hairstyle is flat, do not wear this, okay? I'm serious. Like I be looking at some of these girls like, girl, why are you wearing that? Do you not think that is too big for your head? Girl, you look like you about to be weighed down by that headband. That's how I be feeling about these. They real pretty in everything. You cannot help but to want to buy one because look at it. Like it's shining like a diamond. This is like some real exclusive shit. Okay. But other than that, the hair is really nice and cute. It's silky smooth, like silky to the touch. You know, I really can't say a lot about it. I will say this. I mean, I can say a lot about it. What the heck am I talking about? It's a very tight fit. Like, listen, let me take a sip of this first real quick. Like, it has a nice snug fit. This this got a snug fit. Like, listen, I have reviewed enough of these headband wigs to be able to tell you the difference between each company's, okay? And this one right here has a nice little snug fit. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, you will not be feeling like it's getting loose in the back. Plus, it got the adjustable straps. I did bring them in, but not too tight, you know? I'm not trying to get a wig headache. And the Velcro grips, you know... They do fasten really, really good, okay? The one thing that I don't like sometimes about the headband wigs is the Velcro be so wide in the back. Like, I get it. It's the size of the headband. But I feel like this with these headband wigs. When you get to the nape of the neck with these headband straps, y'all should start slendering in the fabric. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need that Velcro thing in the back to be just as wide as the rest of the headband. Girl, no, because that thing be scratching on the back of my neck sometimes. And a girl cannot be bothered like that, okay? Be ready to rip off a headband wig out in public, okay? But what I'm trying to say is they should make it like, you know, once it get down to like right about here, let's start slendering that in a little bit. So that way that Velcro thing in the back ain't so daggone thick to where it's catching the nape of my hair and the back hair, okay, if I had some. Other than that, the wig is really cute. Like, you know what I'm saying? affordable, easy maintenance. You ain't got to do nothing. I'm telling you, you could have your four-year-old grandchild put it on you if you wanted them to. I'm just saying it's that easy. And this one is cool because, you know, being that it's loose wave, you can definitely put some heat to this bad boy and turn it into a body wave, whatever you want to turn into it. You can even sit there and flat iron it. I think this will easily turn into sleek straight hair with a flat iron because the curl, the waves are not that tight. As you guys know, with headband waves, you could do um, multiple styles. I'm not saying you could do a whole bunch of styles like, you know, we're not going to go through the style book of the 80s, but you can do certain styles with it. As long as you got like a decent headband that's wide width, you can put it up in a bun. You can put it up in a ponytail, a low ponytail. You know, you can even get real tricky and swoop you over a little piece of hair right there, girl, and you'll be good to go. There are things you can do with the headband with besides just wearing them out like some that. of them look really good as low ponytails especially like the really big curly ones these particular ones that are loose wave i think these look really nice when they're up in like a bun or um a loose a, a, like a high ponytail just like swinging like that looks this looks really cool this looks like okay hold on <laughs> cute like this like I think this looks really cute up in a high ponytail with this particular style it looks really cute like this I feel like I have worked today like I don't know if it's probably the shirt like look I feel like I'm one of those women that be out in the backyard building stuff you know getting lumberjack making DIY crafts and stuff like living out in the country away from like people like that this this is what I'm feeling like right now like I really feel like going and doing me a DIY project okay it's got to be the shirt it's definitely got to be the shirt it's cute sometimes they don't really have to be too thick I don't really like them when it's too much hair because I like a nice little flowy ponytail like this you know you feel real cute you know youthful 
know, bob and weave, girl, bob and weave through the store with your mask on. I'm saying, real cute. Got the baby hairs. The same baby hairs, but this is my own hair. But you know what I'm saying. All right, you guys. I'll see y'all on the next one.